that Marjorie is going to find herself in a very lonely place. And one of the biggest things that I think we have the biggest problem with is the disinformation that she continues to put out as a member of Congress and actually what she's doing right now on the House floor. Uh, Ms. Bice just touched on we have gotten wins uh, for the border for the American people that nobody talks about. In the last appropriations package, we added 8,000 detention beds and roughly 22,000 CBP additional officers to the border. When Republicans go out there and say that we haven't done anything and it's not our number one priority, they're lying lying only to elevate their platform. I think what this is is that Marjorie got sick and tired of people like Mr. Gates hogging all of the attention as he usually does. And she said enough is enough and she took the spotlight saying she was going to do the motion to vacate on Ukraine. She had brought it up before Ukraine had even hit the floor which should tell you one thing again for the second time this failed experiment. It, sometimes it's about members of Congress and not about the American people. And hopefully that you all see that and so do the American people when they see acts like this that Marjorie is doing. Could she be kicked out of the conference? Uh, let's take two more and then we're, we got to go in and, and do our work. Kadia, yeah. did you have something? Mr. Miller? I wanted to ask about we need the majority. in New York. How vulnerable does this make you having to do this once again, talk to uh, New Yorkers and explain that, you know, here we are. I, I think elections are about distinction. In New York, that's the case. And we're happy to distinguish ourselves from Marjorie Taylor Greene and these antics that she's providing on the, on, on the floor today. They do not represent what we feel. That's why we're on the steps right now while she's spewing false rhetoric on the floor. We are here right now to provide a distinction that we are much different from that. We will tell folks in Washington, tell folks back home that this does not represent who we are. Yes, go ahead. Um, what's your advice to Democrats who heard the speaker this morning say that 2020 was a, was a doubtful election and they're worried about non-citizens voting in 2024? Listen, Democrats in the House, they get to make their own decision. They can vote in a way that keeps stability and predictability for this government, or they can throw us into chaos. I, ho I would hope that their decision today uh, will be to choose stability and predictability. Somebody else? They chose, they chose that once already. Yeah, right. Okay, we'll do one more. Is there a motion to table expected today? Could that be brought today? Is that going to be brought today? Uh, we're not in a position to talk about tactics on the record afterwards. If somebody wants to know the state of prey off the record, I'd be happy to tell them what I know. It was Anything else on the record? Should you be, do you think Marjorie Taylor Greene should be punished? But, uh, one dumpster fire at a time. Let's take care of the motion to vacate, and then we can worry about whatever comes next. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. Yep.